When you think of the most dangerous diseases, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Malaria, viral infections such as bird flu, or maybe even Ebola. But did you know that many of these diseases don't even make it to the list of top 10 global killers? What if I told you that one of the most dangerous diseases are actually respiratory cancers, or more specifically lung cancer, and that many scientists are working really hard nowadays to find a cure for it? To understand the complexity of lung cancer, one must be familiar with the term tumor microenvironment. So what is tumor microenvironment? In most simple words, it is the environment within the tumor that consists of many different cell types, blood vessels, and signaling molecules. One of the less investigated cell types of tumor microenvironment are fibrocytes. Fibrocytes are spindle-shaped cells that originate in the bone marrow, and they have very important roles in wound healing and tissue repair processes in many different organs. So, for example, when you burn your finger, fibrocytes will travel from your bone marrow to that spot and help you heal the wound. However, these cells are also involved in many life-threatening diseases, such as cancer and lung fibrosis. We were keen to understand the roles of fibrocytes in lung cancer, and one of the first things that we noticed was that their numbers are increased in the blood of the lung cancer patients. So now you might be thinking, why? What is actually happening here? Let's think of it as the seed and the soil, where the fibrocyte is the seed and tumor microenvironment is the soil. In the 1800s, so-called seed and soil hypothesis was proposed that said that tumor metastasis is a product of a favorable interactions between the cancer cells, or the seed, and their organ microenvironment, or the soil. So you can also think of it as when a plant goes to seed, its seed is carried in all directions. However, the seed will live and grow only if it falls on the compatible soil. This is exactly what is happening with the fibrocytes and the tumor. As you can see in this scheme, fibrocytes are being recruited from the bone marrow to the tumor where they start to interact with cancer cells. These interactions are activating many different signaling pathways that promote tumor growth and metastasis. In my PhD project, I would like to identify fibrocytes of populations and understand molecular mechanisms behind interactions of fibrocyte and cancer cells. Even though the therapies for lung cancer are available, they cannot completely eradicate the tumor and usually have a success rate somewhere between 16 and 22 percent. So that's why understanding the molecular mechanisms behind the crosstalk of cancer cells and other cell types in tumor microenvironment is fundamental to find a proper therapies to eradicate this deadly disease.